Hey friends. So in the last video, we talked about some DevOps fundamentals and what a DevOps engineer do, what DevOps is basically. And in today's video, I want to go over two fundamental concepts of CI CD. So CI stands for continuous integration and CD is for continuous deployment. And let's jump into the video. So like we talked in the last video, DevOps is a set of practices which allows us to build, test, and release our code in smaller and frequent steps. And main part of that is continuous integration, where you are able to commit your changes to code pretty frequently or maybe on a daily basis, which was not possible in the past. And each, each commit would trigger an automated test on the CI server, which basically tells the developers if there are any changes that may cause issues when they will be merged to the main branch or the prod branch. So let's say we have a website that our team is working on and we have a front-end team and a back-end team. So what happens before like the CI was a concept, we would have front-end team working on UI changes and the front-end part of it the backend team would work on their own independent changes, but at the end, let's say down a week, you would have incompatible changes that need to be merged. So that's where CI came into play, and now you have a CI server. So in our case, I'll go ahead and share this example of GitHub Actions, and we'll use that as a CI server. So you have a GitHub repository here where both of our teams are pushing code to. And you have a CI server set up, it could be GitHub Actions, which does some tests before those changes can be merged in. So I'll go ahead and use a Python app here, and we'll see how you can test changes before they are merged. So what I have here is a Hello World example of a Flask app, uh, which is in Python. And you can see it just says or returns Hello YouTube. and what I have done is I've wrote a test called test underscore hello pi, and we'll use pi test library to do this. And in this, you can see it looks for a status code of 200 and also looks for the keywords hello YouTube. And in order to set this up, I do have a GitHub action workflow, which says python app.yaml. And if you look at that YAML file, you'll see that it uses the latest Ubuntu container and it uses Python 3.10. The first step is to install dependencies. So I did go ahead and install pip and upgraded it. And then what we do is we install Flake 8 and PyTest. So Flake 8 is used to lint code. So if there is any formatting errors or anything like that or syntax errors, It'll pick that up. For PyTest, as I said, we use that library to run this file basically and to see if our Flask cap returns a 200 uh, status code and also the word hello YouTube. So if I go back to my YAML file, the next step is to test with PyTest and it just runs PyTest. So now if we go into our actions on the repo itself, you can see each commit triggers the action and we basically get our testing done. So if you can see here, it says setup job, which basically is a few steps that GitHub action takes before uh, doing any testing. So you can see the container comes up, it installs all the dependencies. So it installs pip and then installs the libraries that we use, Flakeit and PyTest. And it does the linting and it also does the test here. And you can see it says one passed in 0 0.20 seconds. And then post setup and then it does some cleanup and the job is completed. So every time we have changes that we want to commit and need it to be merged, uh, before merging it, it would run this. And you can also see how my previous test failed. And the reason behind that was that I was missing the requirements.txt file, which would have Flask in it. So basically I was missing the Flask library. 
So yeah, that's how you set up a CI server using GitHub Actions and you can test your code before it goes out and gets merged. That's continuous integration in under five minutes. And in the next video, we'll be talking about continuous deployment. So we'll be deploying this Python app to Azure or AWS. I haven't picked my poison yet, but yeah, if you like such videos and if you would like to see more DevOps content, please hit a like button and make sure you're subscribed to the channel.